Welcome back everyone in a, another YouTube video where I'm going to be presenting to you how you should prepare yourself for the open day, for the day when you're going to be handing over the CV. This video is going to be uh, having the two parts, the part, uh, three parts actually, the part where I'm recommending to you the way how to do the makeup, the second part is how to do your hair and the third part is what I'm recommending you to wear. So you've gained the confidence that you're supposed to have you have prepared an outstanding CV um, in case you uh, still have a doubt of the outstanding CV on how it's supposed to look like. Please go ahead on my YouTube video where I'm talking about the curriculum vitae and I'm recommending to you how you should structureize and what to pay attention. Before everything else, don't forget to click subscribe on my YouTube channel and for the other videos that are going to come out. So we are starting right now. You've cleaned your face and you've put your uh, desired cream or perhaps you don't put any cream and now it's time to start um, the other uh, the other preparation which is a primer. Now uh, I want to tell you that this video is not made for me to present to you products. So please don't stress about products, okay? Whatever you have at home, whatever you think is suitable for your skin, feel free to use it. So I have a couple of primers and um, one of my favorites are uh, Nux Primer, which is amazing, amazing. It gives such an amazing texture to the foundation that you're gonna put. I have Urban Decay, these I use for uh, night makeup, but today I'm gonna I'm gonna use the Nux one as a, as a not so expensive version. I also have the uh, Pore Professional from Benefit. It's a very nice one, but as I said, whatever you have as a primer, use it. If you don't wanna use a primer, don't use it. I prefer to use a brush whenever I'm putting a primer or a foundation, so. This video doesn't have the purpose of advertising products, but I would strongly recommend, please do not use BB creams, okay? These are the types of BB creams that I have, uh, La Mer, Garnier, and uh, Aloe Vera from Forever Living Products, because uh, BB creams don't have a full coverage. It's a foundation-based cream, so you don't want the, instruct the recruit recruiter or um, the, anyone from the recruitment team to tell you please put some more foundation next time as you're coming so therefore this is a big no when it comes to going for the recruitment day going for the open day and of course later on uh, if you get the job as a cabin crew you will be able to see that in the grooming manual it's strictly written that um, foundation based creams or BB creams and CC creams they're not full coverage so therefore they're not um, recommended to be used. So use any foundation of yours that you would like to use. I'm going to show you from the cheapest to the expensive one. You want the Dior, the Nux one, a Maybelline, another Maybelline, MAC, uh, Givenchy. Just use any of the foundation that you think it's suitable for your skin, uh, but it must be a foundation that is a full coverage. Don't forget. I'm going to use today the Givenchy one. Choose any of yours, preference. And definitely, while putting foundation, I always use a brush. It goes well in the pores. And you don't have to put a lot. This is how much I put. Now comes the time when you're supposed to apply a little bit of um, eyeshadow. I would not recommend, so please don't use a blue, red, um, or any flashy colors like yellow, green. I wouldn't recommend that, so refrain from using flashy colors. I know they're fashion now, uh, but please focus on putting something that is more neutral because you're applying for the job position of a cabin crew, right? And therefore, um, the uniform that you are going to be wearing in future is burgundy. So, um, applying a little, a little bit of common sense over here will um, definitely help you to choose one of these kind of colors. 
kind of brownish colors, kind of nude colors that will definitely show that you have um, you have an eyeshadow, but yet it looks very professional and it looks very pre uh, pleasant. And I'm going to be doing this using brushes, any brushes, any uh, any eyeshadows. Um, this is the Naked 2 palette, but as I said, no stress about the brand, just use anything that you like. So I'm starting with the light color over here. You've prepared nicely your um, eyeshadow and now I would recommend a little bit of um, an eyeliner. Use any brand of an eyeliner, but please don't make the eyeliner so thick and don't make it so long. So it should be, I'll do my eyeliner, I will show it to you how I do it. Just a discreet uh, one line that it's going to open your eyes, you will look fresh, you will look presentable. And um, that's the one of the recommended ways of the grooming standards of Qatar Airways. So here we go. This is approximately how the eyeliner looks like. Now, some of you would um, go for an eyeliner, eyeliner under your eyes. I avoid to put under my eyes because I seriously think that my eyes look much better uh, when I have only eyeliner on top of it. And it looks more professional. Uh, it's kind of a day makeup. It's more pleasant. Doesn't grab so much the attention in my eyes because later on I'm going to be applying um, uh, colored lipstick. So... Uh, therefore, I think that this type of makeup with a little bit of eyeshadow well blended along with um, an eyeliner on the top is enough and will give the desired fresh and professional look that the recruiters are looking for. It's time to do the mascara. Um, this time I'm doing a combination of Maybelline and Nooks. I like these two mascaras a lot. Don't stress again about the brand, please. What is important is while you're applying the mascara, don't apply too much mascara. So you don't want to look um, unnatural. You don't want to look fake. You don't want your eyelashes to look fake. And yes, I uh, also would like to mention, please don't go on your open day, on your assessment day and on your final interview with false eyelashes. False eyelashes are not allowed for the cabin crew for the simple reason in the um, grooming standards of Qatar Airways. For the simple reason is that while you're flying, your eyes are getting dry in order to prevent infection and in order um, uh, to um, prevent removal of your uh, fake eyelashes or anything that can happen uh, that can you can injure yourself um, eyelashes are strictly not allowed and as I said in one of my videos if you ever see a cabin crew with false eyelashes fake eyelashes most probably she shouldn't have those so here we go mascara time I'm done with the mascara it looks very natural um, I didn't put a lot so now I'm gonna do a little bit of um, uh, contouring but I'm just gonna use a little bit of concealer I'm not gonna go too much into contouring because again uh, what the recruiters are looking for a professional look a fresh look they don't look for the perfect makeup with a perfect contouring um, contour contouring um, set on your face you should be looking uh, your features your uh, your um, face features should be uh, looking um, natural so therefore I refrain from contouring my face uh, while I was a cabin crew while I was working as a cabin crew and today during uh, when I apply a uh, day makeup I contour my face with strong contours only for the night makeup when I go clubbing but I don't go clubbing now because I'm pregnant so <laughs> Yeah, and uh, don't stress again about the brand. I'm going to use Maybelline, but you can go with Max Factor, with Nooks, Yves Saint Laurent, depends what is suitable for you. So here is how I'm going to do it. Just a little bit. That's it. And I'm going to use a sponge to blend that. To finish up the contouring, I'm going to use a little bit of uh, bronzer that is matte, um, not the shiny one, and I'm going to do it very little. 
please contour your face uh, the way you think you look um, good. As I said, again, don't put so much of bronzer. So you don't want that unnatural look. My forehead is quite big, so I prefer to use, to shorten it like this. What a cabin crew must never forget is to put a little bit of blusher on the cheeks to add on that fresh look, to add on that professionalism more. So when you smile, this all looks amazing in you. You can see the difference. Now, Many of you will want to know, should I put a highlighter? Why not? But should you exaggerate with the highlighter? Definitely no. You don't want to look like a Christmas tree going for your assessment day, going for your final interview, or even going for your flight. Uh, you don't want to be noticed from far away with a lot of highlighting you. Definitely in the club, yes you can. In the flight, on the aircraft, on your assessment day, on your open day, please be discreet while you're using uh, the highlighter. Use any highlighter that you would like, that your skin uh, feels good with it. I'm gonna use today a Fenty and I'm just gonna do very little over here, over here, right over here, and a little bit here. So it's not too much shiny, yet I look professional. Something that you're going to see with most of the cabin crew on the pictures, um, if you Google it, or if you have been a passenger on a Qatar Airways flight or any uh, Middle Eastern Airlines flight, especially is that they tend to have the most perfect eyebrows. It's because we pay attention to the eyebrows. Whenever we see each other as a cabin crew and we like the eyebrows we're having, we're immediately asking, what do you use for your eyebrows? So upon recommendation of many of my colleagues, I have few gels. I prefer to use gel uh, for my eyebrows. So you can use any. Personally, my favorite is this Eidofec. I have no idea. Uh, it's not a it's not a famous brand. I think I got it from Thailand. It makes my eyebrows really natural. But I love, also love to use Anastasia Beverly Hills, L'Oreal, or even MAC. MAC is a great, uh, great gel. So once you start flying and once you earn good money, I'm sure that you're going to go for the most expensive version. Um, today I'm going to use, as I said, the favorite one that I got from Thailand. So I'll draw my eyebrows. First, I'll just comb them a little bit. Many of you are asking me, is it um, microblading allowed? Tattoo is not allowed. Microblading, as long as it looks natural, I don't think that anyone will ask you, um, is it microblading? It's permanent makeup, it's okay. Now to comb a little bit the hair on my eyebrows, I'm gonna use an eyebrow mascara. And you, you can use a transparent one. You can use any brand that's uh, is suitable for you and this is how my eyebrows approximately look like. I like it uh, when I used to fly and even nowadays I like when my eyebrows are a little bit more thicker, fuller. I think it suits my face. When you go for your open day, when you go for your assessment day, when you go for the final interview, I would personally wear a red lipstick because uh, even if you don't wear the uh, red lipstick, the uh, recruitment team, when they see you, they will immediately imagine you how you look in the burgundy uniform and definitely the lipstick colors that uh, are grooming standards for Qatar Airways are colors in red, in uh, burgundy and in pink, but not the pale ones. I've seen some videos of a cabin crew recommending, uh, of a recommended makeup for a cabin crew, which is very, very basic. And if you go with the pale lipstick, the grooming officer will come after you and will tell you, please uh, darken your lipstick. So yeah, you will know exactly once you join the airline, you will know exactly which colors are recommended. But as I said, uh, deep red, red, pink, not the flashy one. Uh, these types of lipstick are not allowed. 
the flashy ones um, in this type of colors. You can't have them for the simple reason they don't look good uh, while you are in a burgundy uniform. So as I said, um, it should complement uh, the color of the uniform and at the same time it should be complementing you. Very often people will be asking you and you will be asking people what type of lipstick you're using. You're going to go and buy the same lipstick but you're not going to be happy about it. Always, whenever you're buying a lipstick, please uh, try it and see how it's going to look on you because we all have different um, different color of the lips as we all have different skin color, definitely. So uh, just check how it looks on you and if you're happy with it, just buy it. Before I'm applying the lipstick, I always use a lip liner. Today I'm using a cheap version of, lip of lipstick and a lip liner, which is lip liner from Essence, the red one, and a matte uh, liquid uh, lipstick from Essence. So therefore, just choose the, any brand, as I said, is suitable for you. My makeup is completed now. Um, I hope you guys like it. Um, if you have any, if you feel that you need to do any other modification, um please feel free to do so but uh don't forget the minimum requirements for makeup for Qatar airways are having a foundation on having a mascara on having a lipstick on and having a blusher on without these things uh don't show up on your open day on your assessment day and um you should be able to leave an impression of um, future professional cabin crew uh, now when it comes to finishing the makeup uh definitely i am using something called a spray uh, after fixator after I do the makeup prior to that perhaps some of you would like to use a fixed powder any fixed powder is totally fine I don't use this fixed powders because I don't think I need it actually but maybe while flying or during the flight you will need a little bit of top up don't forget to have with you um, any any uh, foundation uh, powder foundation of yours so I'm gonna fix the makeup like this distance and it's completely fine. Now, the second part of this makeup is how to do your hair, how to prepare your hair for the open day. Recommended is that you use um, a donut or if you have a long hair, uh, just rub it around and use it uh, and make your hair neat, it looks neat and tidy. If you have a short hair like up to here, it's totally fine. Uh, just, it, should be, it can be down, but just make sure that your hair is not touching uh, your shoulder. If it's, touch, if it's touching your shoulder, shoulder then it's okay to be uh, used um, to, to use a ponytail, so to be tied up in a ponytail. But because my length allows me to tie up my hair uh, with the grooming standards of Kata Airways, so I'm going to show to you how that looks like. Now comes the time when I think this is interesting, even for the cabin crew that are flying, because one of the grooming standards for Qatar Airways says that there should be no baby hair flying around once you tie your hair like this. So you have an option to use um, any hair product, but a minimum hair product, uh, such as um, this spray, hairspray, or... Um, gel perhaps but you have to be very careful with the gel in my entire career of 10 years of flying I never used the gel but I do have baby hair as you can see but I learned one tip and it's actually from the grooming officer itself on how to have that perfect um, and neat hair and if you do this believe me that the recruitment team uh, will be able to see that and it's going to be a plus point for you if you're able to have that baby hair neatly tied and not flying around. So what I used to do and what I still do is I use a little bit of oil. You can use any hair oil. I'm using an argan oil now. Just a few drops. Two to three drops. I don't apply the argan oil straight away on my hair. Just make sure the oil is not smelly because I've applied an oil that smells bad. It was a wrong decision and I use a little bit of water water drops like this then I do like this so it's not that much of oil already on my two hands and I do this down as well and on the sides as well as you can see 
The baby hair is gone. I'm gonna use the comb again. So no hairspray, no hair gel, two drops of oil with a little bit of water, do like this and your baby hair is gone. Now, if you have um, a long hair, you don't have to use this donut, but if you have a hair length like mine, and my hair is not so thick, probably this length, I always, always use donut, and you can use the bigger version, you can use the medium one, medium one. I have even bigger, but I don't think that's suitable for, um, for cabin crew, so I'm gonna use the, um, the smaller one. So what I do is like this. Do it around. And use any elastic. So because now I don't have any scrunchy um, on top of this, you will be a cabin crew, of course. On top of this, you're gonna use a hair net, so there will be no baby hair around. But it's totally fine to go on the open day without the hair net, believe me. What is important in the grooming standards of Qatar Airways, you can use only three pins. Sorry, I have four here, my mistake. Three pins, okay? And if you see a cabin crew having more than three pins, she should not have it. So now, since you're going on your open day and on your interview, um, you don't have a scrunchie, of course, because um, you are in a candidate still, I would suggest to use something like this. You can find it anywhere and it should be, um, I recommend uh, this kind of scrunchie to be in the color of your hair or to be black, uh, depends on which combination you're gonna wear. I'm gonna show you in the third part of the video what I recommend you to wear. And the hair kind of looks like this. So this is like a um, future cabin crew look. When it comes to the jewelry, uh, one of the preferred uh, type of earrings that Qatar Airways cabin crew should wear is the pearl earrings. As you can see, it goes very well along with the lipstick, with the red lipstick and um, a plain watch that has no stones. This watch has a little bit of stones. But don't stress about it. You don't have to buy a watch um, without stones. If you're like me, I currently don't have a watch without stones because I just simply don't wear them anymore. I always wear now watches with a little bit of stones. Uh, but don't buy, um, especially for the recruitment day, for the open day. Uh, that is something that later on the um, uh, grooming standards, if you get selected, uh, will uh, the grooming team will be presenting that to you since the training itself. So I'm going to apply now the pearl earrings and you can see how uh, it gives a full complement of my makeup. And it's totally enough. You don't need any necklaces. Um, actually, cabin crew do not uh, use any necklaces while in uniform. And this is the the watch, which we assume now it has no stones. It has very little stones inside, so it's fine if you don't have without stones, as I said. And the rings that are allowed for cabin crew are only plain rings like this. Don't look at my nails. I just did my nails yesterday. As you know, I'm not a cabin crew anymore. Therefore, I am really free to do all these type of colors that I never did before for the past 10 years. So the nails would be preferred in the red color that's going to match your lipstick or a French one. When I went for my assessment day, I was having a French manicure and the red lipstick. This was exactly the type of makeup that I had. Uh, unfortunately, my pictures for the open day and the assessment day that I attended are back home in Macedonia and as soon as I get an opportunity, that's going to be after my delivery, I'm going <laughs> to take a photo of it and I will show it to you. But uh, as I said, it's a 
this type of makeup was the one I was having and um, now we're going to the third part in which I'm recommending what to wear. When it comes to your outfit, I recommend a black jacket, black blazer, a white um, shirt under it and a black skirt that is below your knees. Uh, feel free to carry any handbag of yours, just refrain from uh, flushy ones, um, just use any nude, uh, any black color or nude color of um, uh, handbag with you that you're going to be able to put your stuff inside. And a plain black uh, shoes, uh, not so high. Please remember that your shoes shouldn't be high. I'm going to show you a picture after this. And this is the type of uh, outfit that uh, it's pretty much recommended. Many of you are asking me, sh can I wear a dress, a full uh, dress? Uh, perhaps um, I leave that option up to you. But this is the type of outfit that it's a uh, business attire, actually. And it's recommended to have it while you will be a ton your open day and your assessment day. Regarding your shoes, uh, just choose any plain black shoes that are comfortable and you will be able to stay comfortable and walk comfortably in them. The reason why I didn't dress myself in this outfit is because I'm not going to be able to fit in. Uh, I've gained quite some kilos now as I'm pregnant. And uh, but I really, really hope that soon after my deliver delivery, uh, that's one of the goals that I'll be able to fit in in my uh, clothes of uh, size small. I'm currently size large. Don't ask me how many kilos I gain. Uh, therefore, guys, don't forget to click subscribe on my YouTube channel number one. Don't forget to like this video. And I'm going to be seeing you very soon in another video for the new joiners that are, that are already uh, joining uh, Qatar Airways or any other Middle Eastern Airlines on so many uh, questions and queries that you guys have and I'm gonna give you lots of tips uh, so stay tuned on my YouTube channel have a nice day stay blessed and bye bye